one win for you? Uh, is that the result you had wanted? Is it a perfect result for you to go to the second leg? Well, yes and no. Yes, in the sense that it was a win. Yeah, we came to play for the results. We started very, very well. We scored in the 11th minute inside the first half. And we were controlling this game and dictating the intensity of this game. We had pocket of chances and we should have finished the game. We should have killed it. Then, in the closing stages, we switched off. We took our eyes off the ball and they scored from the break. They leveled up. So first half was one more. The second half, we made, you saw we made some few tactical adjustments. We brought on some more attacking minded players in search of the second goal, and if possible, the third goal. Yes, we were rewarded with a decent penalty, and we scored. I mean, he displaced the goalkeeper. Then we kept fighting. We had good momentum, and we kept fighting to get the third goal, which was very, very, very possible. I mean, we created it. We had Van Dijk and the rest. We brought them, and unfortunately, they couldn't take the chances that came. Uh, we, we controlled the second half much, much better. But unfortunately, we got the 2 1. And I'm impressed with the performance. Of course, it's a two leg affair, so we need to go and re strategize. Go into the second half, uh, go into the second leg, two weeks. Okay, Bill. Yeah, he, he mentioned that it's a two legged affair. And of course, he did mention that uh, he's got a number of chances that are going to go to convert. So, this is something that is going to be a cause for concern going into the second half. Since you're going into an away ground and, you, and already they have an away goal, and you might also look to get an away goal to you know, have an advantage. Yes, I mean, you are right. I mean, but yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a correct. Uh, Proposition, but you also have to take it from a positive perspective because I also believe that when we go there, they have to open up, okay, which can't, you know, uh, which we can also take our chances, we can also take the game to them, and you know, because the second leg, they have to be sure they score. I believe we have to change the approach, we will change the strategy, and we will change the structure of the team. Maybe more players will be coming and aging him and the rest because we lost, I mean, that killer instance. And yes, the way they were, the way we were missing, missing the chances was very, very, very frustrating. But I mean, it's a little two-legged affair. We have to go back I mean, do the review, re-strategize. But the way we played here, of course, the second leg has to be different because the permutations is, is entirely different. Now the pressure is on them to beat us. So I believe that we still have to keep our heads up and you know, regroup and re-strategize going to the second but we have to make sure we get the results to qualify. So we have to be very, very positive and keep our hands up. Coach, yesterday you made mention of some injuries in your team and today uh, maybe it affected your play. Going into the second league, are we going to have those players on board? Well, I'm not a doctor, but I have to count on the medical team. Uh, yes, there were some minor, minor injuries. We saw Eugene uh, out of the team because of the one or two couple players who are attacking minor players, and they can give the team, they can give the team a lot. You realize that Andrew was struggling because he was not getting the needed support and supply. So yes, two weeks from now, we believe that the technical, uh, the, the medical team, will work very, very hard to make sure we have a full house. I mean, so that we can have a lot of options to select from. But I'm still positive, I mean, that we will go to Freetown to get a result because we need this uh, competition very, very important to make a statement, not only for themselves, but for the entire nation. Okay. Coach, um, you said you want to go to Freetown and make sure you get the results. Uh, I want to ask, were you expecting better results than this lady by a three-goal margin or something? Well, yes, I do. I mean, we came into this game with a mentality to win. You realize that, I mean, we took the game to them and we scored in the early uh, 11th minute. Then we push, we control, we open them, we force the goalkeeper to make some mistakes. But unfortunately, the quality in the last third was not good enough. So, yes, the most important thing is that 
we won. Every win is a win. But yes, uh, uh, the because of the away goal and because of the rule. Okay, so that's why I'm saying that there's still a lot to play for because going to the second leg, they also have to change their approach, and we can also, you know, expose them because we also saw a lot of weakness in their centre backs. Believe me. Yeah. Well. Last year. To the player, okay. Okay. Do you think you missed an opportunity here with the home crowd and home support to score more goals and score back? Yeah, I understand. Going to the second leg, how can you say? Please, you'll be speaking to you, so please, pardon me. Okay, so. Can I speak to you? Oh, he's okay with it, but he'll just reply with me. And going to the second leg, how to mistake are you getting a positive result? Look at what needs to be done. Um, determination that energy or sense of urgency in putting in the first round wasn't there today. What happened? Um, uh, yeah, me alone. Um, I with me say, yeah, training grounds near them. You training hard. I say, you me any win any double qualification. And yeah, the same energy now, determination. And a good fight, and a good spirit. We are coming on to try to win that win now. Yeah, the qualification. Yeah. Right. Uh, the game, you could see where it was very tense. Uh, some shoving and hustling and all that. And there was a fracas, you know, uh, behind uh, the pitch. How prepared are you going there? Because they felt a bit intimidated, looking at their body language and all that. You've had a taste of away games in Guinea against Milo. How are you going to prepare for this one, going away from home? Coach, the coach or for the coach? Okay, that's for the coach. Okay, coach. Unfortunately, I didn't see what was happening because my eyes, my focus was on the pitch. Yes, I saw some few uh, and skirmishes here and there, but I mean, football is a, it's a, it's a passionate game and very intense game. But we believe the game is played by rules. The match commissioner, or, I mean, CAF has their rules and regulations. So we'll go there. We are not intimidated. No, we'll go there. I play the game on the pitch. Yes. Please, last two questions. Coach, you made mention of uh, their defense. You have seen one or two problems in concern, concerning their defense. What about their middle and their, their, their forward? Yeah, of course. Uh, we give them some respect. I mean, they, they overloaded the method, and that was why we were finding it difficult to penetrate, to find entry. And a few times we managed to break them down. But I mean, they, they got their momentum and they leveled up. And, I mean, psychologically, it was, it was very difficult for us. And it gave them some energy because they were looking for that away. Uh, looking at the way they play, they didn't come to win this game. They came to frustrate us. And they asked pick a point. But unfortunately, we, we they didn't get that. We won. That's why I'm saying that. Let us draw more on the positive. Let us draw more on the wins and go and review this game. And also look at some areas that we can expose. I've told you about their center backs. Yes, I know what I can do because. The game is about tactics, about strategy. So we will also go there with a different approach. The most important thing is to make sure we protect these two one and get the desired results okay. for dreams of to qualify to the, uh, the the group stage. Please, one last question. One last question. Good. Good. Um, congratulations. Thank you. Um, it seems they never came in to play with a forward. Looking at their tactics, it was like almost all their games was from the defense to the midfield. That's why they loaded the midfield very much. And you could see that your defenders were virtually on holiday. I don't know if I saw it like that. So going in into the second leg, how prepare how are you going to prepare for the attack? Because this time around they are going to attack more than the way they sat back or they possess the ball. Uh, you are right. That's like I said, I mean their game model was to make sure I mean, they put the back and play from the two zones and defending zone and then to the middle zone. Because few times, 
and indeed uh, our goalkeeper Solomon was put under uh, pressure and that's why in the second half we played the entire 45 minutes and they have we were finding the pocket and making sure we break the lines but it was difficult but that's one thing that it's a two proposition they have to change their plan because if we play this way and filter well I'm not their coach but I believe that because of the competition they have to change their approach and that's where we also be sure we counter and exploit those uh, spaces that they will leave behind.